Hi, I'm Paul and this is Tony. Um, I'm, I brought Tony in today to just uh, give you a little history and, and show you kind of an unusual diagnosis you don't see very often, but probably uh, this is more on how to manage it and maybe even do a little treatment on something like this. Uh, Tony's 46 years old and about five months ago uh, was having an MRI for his knee because he had an unusual chondral lesion in his knee. Um, but at that time, started to develop some foot and ankle discomfort also. Now, Tony's a mail carrier and you walk about... 8 to 10 miles a day. 8 to 10 miles a day. And all of a sudden could not walk anymore because of significant pain in his, in his ankle. Um, and had to completely get out of work and even got to a point where he had to be completely non-weight bearing with crutches because he had so much discomfort. When we first took a look at him, we noticed that he had some swelling, globalized swelling around the ankle, and he had no mechanism of injury, whereas this ankle has no swelling to it. The other thing we can observe here today is that he has less hair growth around this um, part of his leg compared to this part of his leg, and that gives us a little uh, background information. So um, he had x-rays taken, the x-rays were insignificant for his ankle. He had some palpable tenderness over the anterior sinus tarsi region over here. Did a little treatment on him and he showed no improvement whatsoever. Um, but he had good motion pretty much all along. His biggest complaint is the lack of the ability to weight bear. And that was severely painful. So we sent him for an MRI and the MRI found that he had osteonecrosis of his subtalar joint and some of the surrounding joint structures and even up into his, uh, into his tibia indicating some early osteonecrosis which could lead us to believe that he has some early signs of complex regional pain syndrome. As a result we sent him to a physiatrist who changed his medication and started to use gabapentin and uh, we started to put him on a stress loading program with very progressive increase in weight bearing and he's actually been doing very well with that. Um, so the, the gabapentin four times a day is helpful and we also have him on a weight bearing program. Let's have him take a little walk around here. Uh, go ahead and just walk to that um, shelf over there and back. This is 95% better than it was two weeks ago uh, where he was you know, dependent on crutches. Go ahead and sit back up here. The other thing we have done with him is uh, do some progressive weight bearing with the, the shuttle uh, machine, which is the leg pressure machine. We've also put him on the Wii balance pad to start to get used to uh, shifting his weight. Uh, and then after that, uh, a full complement of ankle strength training activities for dorsiflexion, inversion, eversion, cardiovascular reconditioning. Um, but that progression to weight bearing has been very, very slow because people with complex regional pain syndrome have to have a very slow progression back into uh, what we call stress loading activities. Um, Tony is doing very well. He's not ready to go back to walking 8 to 10 miles a day yet, um, but that's our goal. We're going to continue to build him up and hopefully put him into a fitness program where he's working out a little more, uh, more um, consistently uh, to build his strength and endurance. Thanks.